Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can convert between degrees and radians on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do this we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here, the menu setup key that looks like this located here, the option key that looks like this located here, the times 10 to the x key with the shift function of pi that looks like this located down here, the fraction key that looks like this located here, and the F1, F2, F5, and F6 keys that look like this located across the top up here. When we're converting between degrees and radians, the first step is to set our calculator to the mode we want our results in. So for example, if we have radians and want to get a result in degrees, we have to set our calculator to degrees mode. To do that, we press the shift key and then the menu key for the setup menu. There we go. And then if we scroll down here to the angle option, Typically, this calculator is in radians, so we need to change that to degrees. So we press F1 to highlight degrees. We see that's changed, and then we can press the execute key to confirm that. Now we can enter our radians. So we have pi over 4, so we press our fraction key, and in the top box, we need pi. So to do that, we press shift times 10 to the x. There we go, we have pi in the top. Scroll down and enter 4 in the bottom box. And scroll to the right so that we're out of that box. Now we need to tell this calculator these are radians. So to do that, we press the Option key. And we see this menu here along the bottom. We need to press F6 once so that we get this next menu. And we see number here, 5 is the angle menu. So we press F5. And we next see this menu here degrees, radians, or gradients. Since these are radians, we want to press F2 with the R there. There we go, pi over 4 radians. That tells our calculator these are radians. And then the EXE key. And we see our pi over 4 radians has converted to 45 degrees. What if we have 45 degrees and want to get that in radians? Well, again, we need to set our calculator to the mode we want our results in. So if we're going from degrees to radians, we need our calculator in radians mode. Again, we press Shift, Menu, scroll down to the angle and choose radians. So F2, we see our angle has changed and we can press EXE to confirm that. Now we enter our 45 degrees and since we're already in this angle menu, we can hit F1 for the degree symbol. To tell our calculator that's 45 degrees and then press the EXE and see it gives us one over four pi or pi over 4 radians. Let's look at another example. Let's say we had 180 degrees and wanted to get that in radians. Since we're already set to radians mode, we don't need to change that. All we need to do is enter our 180 degrees and then choose F1 to tell our calculator these are degrees and press the EXE and see that 180 degrees has converted to pi radians. And again, if we want to convert our pi radians to 180 degrees, we do this by first changing our calculator to degrees mode. So shift, menu, scroll down to the angle, and choose degrees, F1. And then we enter our pi, so shift times 10 to the x with the shift function of pi. And then tell our calculator these are radians. So that's F2 from our angle menu. And press execute. And we get 180 degrees. 
All right. I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.